Hey everyone! Today I wanted to share with you some of my easiest go-to espresso drinks to make at home. With inflation on the rise, do you really want to spend $7 to $8 on a latte? I drink coffee every day and I know how much all of those drinks can add up by the end of the month. So if you're looking to save a bit of money and find your next favorite drink to make, then stick around because you'll love these. The star of the show for all of our drinks today is espresso. So you'll need an espresso machine to pull your espresso shots, but if you don't have an espresso machine, feel free to use a maca pot, an AeroPress, or a Fiend filter, whatever works for you. The brown sugar oat shaken espresso. Lately, this has been one of my favorite drinks to make and drink. It's quite strong and tastes amazing during the summer days. You're gonna need two tablespoons of brown sugar syrup, three shots of espresso, oat milk, ice, and a shaker. First, we'll need to pull three shots of espresso. By the end of this video, I'd have pulled way too many espressos that this house is gonna smell like a whole cafe. Next, we'll need to combine all of our ingredients. So take out your shaker and add in your espresso, your brown sugar syrup, a cup of oat milk, and fill it all the way up with ice. Then shake it, shake it until you can't no more and pour it out into your favorite cup. Dust it off with some cinnamon powder on top, then you can step back and appreciate the masterpiece that you just made for yourself. Ah, the milky and delicious iced caramel macchiato. For this recipe, you'll need three shots of espresso, vanilla syrup, milk, ice, and caramel drizzle on top. First, get a tall cup and pour in about two tablespoons of vanilla syrup. If your syrup is already sweetened, you can leave it be, but if it's a sugar-free syrup, then you can add some simple syrup here if you like. Then fill it up with ice. Then, with the milk of your choice, I'll be using oat milk here. Then at the end, pull your three shots of espresso and you can pour them right on top for that beautiful ombre effect as it blends with the milk. Finish it off by drizzling some caramel sauce on top to your heart's content, and you've got yourself a beautifully crafted homemade iced caramel macchiato. I can't possibly make a coffee video without paying homage to my roots. Vietnamese coffee reminds me of my childhood, early mornings in Vietnam, and the art of slow living. Take a sip and you can taste the bitterness of the coffee kick in while the sweetness of the condensed milk balances it out. For this recipe, I'll be using a Fiend filter since this is what we traditionally use to make espresso. But hey, if you don't have one, feel free to pour the espresso shots any way that's convenient for you. It'll taste amazing regardless. For this recipe, you'll need condensed milk, about two to three shots of espresso, hot water, and crushed ice. The first step is to spoon in your condensed milk. You can add in a couple tablespoons, and it might sound like a lot, but trust me, with the bitterness of the coffee, it's gonna taste just right. Now place your Fiend filter on top, spoon in your grounds, and pour hot boiling water till it reaches the top. Now for the part that feels like it takes an eternity, waiting for the espresso to go through. Some might find it inconvenient, but I find it as the perfect opportunity to slow down and be mindful. Lastly, pour in your crushed ice and you have yourself the perfect cup of Vietnamese coffee. Iced caramel latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. For this recipe, you'll need two to three tablespoons of caramel syrup, two shots of espresso, milk, ice, heavy cream, vanilla syrup. So first off, pour your caramel syrup into a tall cup you want to add your two shots of espresso so they can bind evenly. Then, pour your milk straight into your cup until it's about halfway full. Next, add a bit of ice, but make sure to leave some room for the foam that we're putting right on top. For the vanilla sweet cream cold foam, we'll combine a quarter cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of sweetened vanilla syrup, and a quarter cup of milk. Blend it up in the blender for about 10 to 15 seconds, and when you're done, you can top off your drink with the perfect foam that you just made, and voila! To make it even prettier, you can add some caramel drizzle on top. This drink may take a little more time to make, but it will sure leave you satisfied and happy. Last but not least, the espresso frappuccino. 
This may be your next favorite go-to drink when it's hot and burning out. It'll keep you chill and cool as well as satisfy that sweet tooth craving. You're gonna need one shot of espresso, simple syrup, whole milk, and a whole lot of ice. After you pull your two shots of espresso, pull out your handy dandy blender and combine all of the ingredients. Because it's a lot of ice and milk, it'll be pretty light tasting, so feel free to add an extra shot of espresso or mix instant coffee for a stronger taste if you like. Blend it all up and carefully pour it out. Okay, that's a smoother pour. Whipped cream is optional, but I like mine with a little bit on top. And there you have it, a dessert, a quick pick-me-up, who knows, but it's way too easy not to make. Well, these are all the five drinks. If you guys happen to try any one of them, tag me in your stories at AnnieDXNG or comment below in the comments and tell me what you think. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!